Hello friends, welcome to our channel Learn and Have Fun. In this video, we will learn about reflection of light through a glass prism and angle of deviation. In our activities, we will be using two types of prism, a normal lab prism and a photographic prism. We also need a laser torch. Switch on a laser torch, you will see the path of a laser beam. This beam travel in a straight line. When a prism comes in a path of the laser beam, the beam deviates from its initial direction. Now we repeat the same activity with a high quality prism. Such a prism is used by photographers. This prism produces sharp and crystal clear image of an object. The laser beam also deviates from its initial direction while passing through this prism. One more thing, in this photographic prism, you can also see reflected and internal reflected beam. We will make a separate YouTube video on this topic. Subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get notifications. Let's observe the behavior of laser beam from the top view. In this view, you can clearly see laser light enter the air to glass medium. As glass is optically denser than air, the light bends towards the normal. When the reflected light reaches the opposite side of the prism, it comes out from the glass medium and again enter the air medium. Since air is a rarer medium, now the light bends away from the normal. Due to bending of the light at both the surfaces, the light finally deviates from its initial direction. Watch this animation to see what the angle of deviation is. We extend the incident ray with the dotted lines. Also, extend the emergent ray backward with dotted lines. The two extended lines meet at a point. The angle between these two lines, that is, direction of incident beam and direction of emergent beam, is known as angle of deviation. Now, we will do an experiment to trace the path of a ray of light through a glass prism and to determine the angle of deviation. Take a white sheet, place the white sheet on a board, fix the sheet on the board using thumb pins, place a prism on the sheet, draw the outline of the prism. Mark a point on the left side of the prism as shown. Draw a normal to the prism at this point. Draw a line making angle between 30 degrees to 60 degrees with the normal. Here, we draw the line at an angle of 50 degrees with the normal. This line will serve as an incident ray for the experiment. The angle of incidence is 50 degree. Now place the prism back on the outline. Place two needles on the incident ray at suitable distance from the prism. Now, look these needles through the other side of the prism. You will see the image of the needles. Now you have to find the exact position where these two needles appears to be in a straight line when seen from the opposite side of the prism. Friends, this is very important step of the experiment. It should be done accurately, otherwise you will get an error. In this direction, Place two more needles on the board. These two needles should be placed in such a way that all four needles appear to be in a straight line when seen from the other side of the prism. In this direction, the fourth needle will overlap all the three needles and you will see only the fourth needle. Remove all four needles 
and prism from the sheet. Now mark the points where third and fourth needles were placed. Join this point with the line and extend it to the prism. This line is the immersion tray. Mark the point where the immersion tray meet the prism. Draw the normal to the prism at this point. The angle which the immersion tray make with the normal is the angle of emergence. Draw the reflected ray inside the glass prism by joining the points where Incident ray and emergent rays are meeting with the prism. The angle between the reflected ray and the normal is the angle of refraction. Now extend the incident ray with the dotted lines and also extend the emergent ray backward. These two extended rays will meet at a point. The angle between the direction of incident ray and the emergent ray is known as angle of deviation. Measure the angle of emergence and angle of deviation. The relation between angle of incidence, angle of emergence, angle of prism and angle of deviation is D equal to I plus E minus A. You can verify your result by substituting the value of I, E, A and D in the equation given below. That is D equal to I plus E minus A. Find the error if any. Thank you for watching our video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel if you like it.